Just doing some finishing touches here. That's the, the clay play area. I'm taking it before it starts. And we've got it sectioned off because we want people to pull in but not totally around the loop in the driveway because it would be a traffic jam. And here we go into the studio. And what I decided to do was I wanted to be not... Uh, I wanted it to be kind of a learning experience for everybody. So I'm going to go to each station and show you what I have here. Um, types of clay that I use. I won't read you everything. I'll just put it up on there. Earthenware and stoneware, mostly. Every once in a great while, I'll do porcelain, but I can't get porcelain at the store I go to. Um, so here it is. Step one is you wedge your clay. And then it kind of explains what wedging is because we know all the terminology, but most people, you say wedge, and they're thinking a shoe. <laughs> A high heel shoe. So this is where I do my wedging. And then people will go to step two, which is the pottery wheel. And I tell them how I put the bat on the, the wheel. And, uh, yeah, and there's my, I had to show my hobby potter thing. <laughs> and there's all my tools and, and the area where I throw. And then the next step would be three. Now you just have to turn around because three and five are actually in the same spot. But three is the first kiln fire. And I talk about how to bake it and how long it goes. And then we'll take it down to the, see all the snacks? Mmm. To step four, which is glazing. And I talk a little bit about glazing. If you say glazing, they won't know what it is. If you say painting, people will understand what you mean. So hopefully I described it a little well, a little better. And most people aren't familiar with how to actually make pottery. I wasn't. I mean, they know about the kind where you go in and you paint it when it's already baked or already bisque fired. But okay, step five is the second fire in the kiln. And I give a little more description on that. And everything is right near the area. So that's my flow. The table, it looks kind of funky because three and five, you have to walk across the room, but it, it's actually quite a pretty good flow. I feel comfortable in it. Uh, this is my little display. I'm taking a picture of this and I do want people to touch, but I want them to be gentle. So I said, please touch gently. All the glare in here. I have so many wonderful lights. Um, oh, I have to tell you a story about these little guys right here. Um, I didn't make them. I just glazed them. And I've had them for five years. Uh, they were in a box. They were outside. They got moldy and they had uh, mildew all over them. So I fired them once and I thought, oh, it'd be fun to glaze them. I'm not a real glazer, but I sat down and glazed them and they turned out pretty darn cute. Yeah, I think they did. I think they look cute. But anyway, some of these things I haven't seen in a while. Like this little plate. I love that little plate. And I'm going to make more things like that. And I forgot how much I enjoyed making that one. Um, some of these things you've seen. And some of these things you might not have ever seen. Because I found them in boxes. And I made them before the 365-day cup project. This one... <clears throat> excuse me, this platter, I just put some clear glaze on it the other day and refired it, and it looks, you can see all the red. I'm so happy. Um, this one is decorative, and I made it, it's a decorative piece here because there's a hole right here, and you can't really pour tea out of it, um, so there's a hole. So I tied a little spoon in, and it, it's something... You know, it's rustic looking. Uh, I'll, the person that might want to buy it, I'm going to make sure I mention, you know, this is decorative. You're not going to be able to pour anything because it'll come out the wrong hole. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen that in a while. Let me go to this area over here. And here I, I have seconds. I made a little sign that talked about seconds. If there's a red dot on the bottom, there's either some little flaw um, or it's, you know, something that I've discounted. Oh, that's not displayed well. I think I was thinking of packing these away. I didn't know if I was going to sell them or not or just, I don't know. Anyway, let me show you what I got here. Oh, my goodness, I've done this for four minutes. I'll hurry up. Okay, and last but not least, I did this. I haven't put it out yet because I haven't started. I still have an hour and a half to go. But I'm going to put the process of the clay. It starts out as raw wedge, then it's dried greenware, then it's the first firing, which is a bisque, and then... It's all glazed. I'm ready to go. So I'm going to turn this around. I don't even know what this is going to look like. But anyway, that is it for today. That's the beginning, and I'll take some clips intermittently maybe. And 
I don't know, maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll forget to do that, but I can't find my camcorder, so this is all cell phone taped. Um, thanks for watching, and hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Thanks for coming along. <laughs>